The two brightest stars in Gemini are Castor and Pollux. Pollux is the brighter of the stars. The orange giant star is about 35 light years from Earth. At least one planet orbits the star. Castor consists of six stars. This crowd system lies about 50 light years from Earth. All six stars in the system really are related because they were born from a single giant cloud of gas and dust, probably around 200 million years ago. A constellation object, deep sky objects in Gemini, Eskimo Nebula. The Eskimo Nebula is a bipolar double shell planetary nebula in Gemini. It was first discovered by the German-born British astronomer William Herschel on January 17, 1787, who thought it was a star ninth magnitude with a pretty bright middle nebulosity equally dispersed all around. The nebula is surrounded by a layer of gas that used to form the outer layers of a star similar to the sun. It is sometimes also called the clown face nebula. NGC 2392 can be observed in a small telescope. It has an apparent visual magnitude of 10.1 and is at least 2870 light years distant from the solar system. Jellyfish Nebula IC443 IC443 is a galactic supernova remnant in Gemini. The nebula is approximately 5,000 light years from Earth. It can be found near the bright star Eta Geminorum. It is also known as the Jellyfish Nebula. The Jellyfish Nebula is believed to be a remnant of a supernova that occurred 3,000 to 30,000 years ago. It is about 70 light years in size. The supernova explosion that resulted in the creation of the nebula also created a neutron star and it is believed to have been a type 2 supernova, a violent explosion of a massive progenitor star. Medusa Nebula, the Medusa Nebula. It's a planetary nebula in the Gemini constellation located near the border with Candice Minor. The Medusa Nebula, the nebula is quite old and quite large, more than four light years across. It got the name Medusa because the filaments of glowing gas are evocative of the serpent hair of the Gorgon Medusa, a monster from the myth of Perseus whose gaze would turn people to stone. The nebula was first discovered by UCLA astronomer George O. Abel in 1955. It was believed to be a supernova remnant until the 1970s, when Soviet astronomers confirmed it was most likely a planetary nebula. The nebula was formed when a red giant turned into a hot white dwarf and shed its outer layers. The Medusa Nebula has an apparent visual magnitude of 7.68 and approximately 1,500 light years distant from the solar system. It has a low surface brightness between 15.99 and 25 and it takes at least an 8 inch telescope with an O3 filter to find it. Castor and Pollux were twin brothers who were also great heroes. Together, Castor and Pollux were known as the Dioscuri, meaning sons of Zeus. Their mother, Leda, was the queen of Sparta. She gave birth to her four children in a very unusual way. Zeus fell in love with Leda when he was looking down at Earth from Mount Olympus. One night, Zeus turned himself into a swan and visited Leda. Soon after, Leda gave birth to four children. Although, the way she gave birth was by laying two bright eggs. From one of the eggs came Helen and Pollux. They were the children of Zeus, therefore they were immortal. From the other egg came Castor and Clytemnestra. They were the children of Leda's mortal husband, Tynodarius, so they were mortal as well. Castor and Pollux became best friends. When they grew up, each man developed great skills. Castor became a famous tamer of the horses and a gifted sword fighter. Some ancient Greeks believe that Castor taught the Greek hero Hercules how to fence. Pollux became a champion boxer. Poseidon, the god of the sea, was so impressed by their talents that he made them the protectors of the sea. The brothers were also brave heroes. One day, Theseus, the king of Athens, kidnapped Helen, the sister of Castor and Pollux. Castor and Pollux declared war in Athens and invaded the kingdom to rescue their sister. The twin brothers won. They rescued Helen and returned home to Sparta. Castor and Pollux won many other adventures together. They were two of the Argonauts who accompanied Jason on his quest for the Golden Fleece. They also joined in the Caledonian Boar Hunt. One day, Castor and Pollux met and fell in love with two princesses. Castor and Pollux kidnapped the princesses so that they could marry them. The girl's father, Leo Kippus, was furious when he discovered that his daughter had been kidnapped. He sent his two sons to rescue the princesses. 
In their fierce fighting over the girls, Castor was killed. Pollux was devastated. He had never gone anywhere or done anything without Castor. Pollux prayed to Zeus, asking him to let him share his immortality with his brother. Zeus agreed. He allowed Pollux to live among the gods of Mount Olympus, but on alternate days he was allowed to be with Castor in the underworld. After the lives of Castor and Pollux ended, Zeus took their bodies and placed them in the sky as the constellation Gemini, which means the twins.